Now, the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, Yaba Lagos, says it has developed a molecular test kit for COVID-19. According to developers at the Research Institute, the kit gives test results in less than 14 minutes. They call it the SARS-CoV-2 isothermal molecular assay simmer. Well, joining us here in Lagos is the team leader, or what you might call the inventor of Nigeria's first molecular test kit. And he is a person of Dr. Chika Onwama. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me. So tell us, is this the rapid test kit that, you know, we hear about? When people use the term rapid, they often refer to antibodies and antigen tests. So we like to call it point of care. It's rapid, it gives results in less than 40 minutes. But when you use rapid, what comes to mind is antibody antigen. So for the molecular test, we kind of call it point of care. So it's near to the doctors, it's near to the hospital where they can use it. So it's, it's rapid. Okay, I'm also saying that you have, uh, I think you came with it. That's all it looks like. So that's all. And, and we are in, in making this, we had one thing in mind. To be able to decentralize the testing, it can go to as low the public health facility. Okay. Now, this is the equipment that will carry out the test. I want to carry it in my hand so you can have a sense of the size. Okay. This is what's powering it. And this can do several things. I've done three tests on this. It has um, six bars and it just long, lost one. Okay. So the thing about the assay is that it's not the routine PCR. It's not cycling. So it does not take so much power. It runs at one temperature. That's the ISO thermal. thermal. One temperature at 40 degrees. And it gives you results. And actually, I'm taking it as long as 30 minutes because we want to try out the, to get the lower ones. It just, in six minutes, it converts the RNA of the COVID-19 virus to DNA and starts amplifying. For some of them that we had the demonstration yesterday, um, on Friday, some of the very high samples, in as two, three minutes, you see them coming out. Wow, that sounds So we're just taking this as long as 30 minutes because of the low ones to see if they can come up. So the next question is, has it been validated? So we are in a bit of a quagmire there because our office is the WHO pre-qualification lab. Now you develop something, it's not the best for you to test it. So we're trying to get others to test it. The second thing we're trying to do, we bought a panel from ATCC. Most people that develop assays have these uh, panels they buy from companies. Now they'll give you the sample and say, this sample is certified to have five copies of this and all that and all that. We used, we're trying to get that to use this. So it's already been imported, we're awaiting it. And then we can use it on this and we also send it across to labs too, so you help us work on it. So you said that it is fast, but what do you mean when you say it's sensitive? Okay, so sensitive is how low it can peak in a term, and then also if it can peak different types or strains of the virus. Okay. Yeah, so we've, we'll be able to test it with all sorts of things. We are a testing lab for COVID, so we had access to samples and tried it and all that. So we're able to be, get it to test and get as low as 100 copies per mil. So if a sample has at least 100 copies per mil, we guarantee we detect it. Actually, it went as low as 16, but in going to 16, it jumped some that were between 100 and 16. So the one we knew will pick consistently is 100, so we stopped at 100. So we are guaranteeing up to 100. If someone had maybe 80 there, but we may not be able to get it. So we are doing things to see if we can improve the, um, that part. But for something that is this small, that can go to any clinic or anything, it's really very good. All right. So we also know that uh, NIMA is partnering with the NCDC uh, to conduct household surveys. Um, mm. the, does this, you know, have any plans where the serve the prevalence or logical survey is concerned? So not really, di not directly, because the household surveys are to do antibody tests. If you think of the, the, the number of people we have in the country, they say 180, 200 million. How many people have we tested? 60,000, what's that proportion? So how many people have been exposed and got well and nobody knew? So that's why we are going to households to try and find out if you have been exposed, you will have the, some antibodies. So we are testing them to see the, if they have the antibodies to COVID and get a sense of the exposure in the community, which we may not be aware of because we didn't test or maybe they were, they were just asymptomatic. All right. So what are your hopes, especially for Naima, with this latest invention? The hope is that since February, we've been working and a lot of other labs in Nigeria. There were times I would go to work and come back the next day. 
because I don't know if you ever tried to do the test. People want it in 24 hours, people are anxious. With this at different levels, it can be done. With the configuration we're putting it, you don't need to wait for too long at the big testing centers. You can have it in your side lab. You can have people going for surgeries and all that. All right. Thank you so yeah. much, Dr. Chika Nwama, Chief Research Fellow at the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research. Naima, thank you for joining thank us you for on the program. Me. Yeah. We have more updates when we return. Please stay with us.